What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another West York Wednesday here on the channel, and the beer I'm reviewing today is yet another collaboration beer, this time between Pure Project Brewing, and they're out of San Diego, California, and the Mortalis Brewing Company, and they are headquartered in Avon, New York, and this is their Hydra Squared. So they're calling this one a smoothie style ale with a dragon fruit, a raspberry, and a mango. It comes in at 8% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen. Time of review. This can is just under four and a half months old. And we give a huge thanks shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Sierra Hotel, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And, uh, you might be asking yourself, why are you reviewing this one as a Western York Wednesday when this was brewed at Pure Project in San Diego, California? And the reason for that is because tomorrow, Thursday, October 12th, is the grand opening of Mortalis's new Buffalo, New York location. And I'm super stoked for it because their Avon, New York location, the OG, the original, is about 90 minutes from my house. The new Buffalo location, 20 minutes. That means I'm going to be able to go to Mortalis way more often and hopefully do some cool um, releases and whatnot for a Buffalo specifically. But I thought it'd be cool to review this one and kind of talk about that as well. I'm really happy Mortalis is now in Buffalo, so I can't wait to uh, try out some of their stuff here at the new um, location. I'm going to try to get to the new location in the next month or so and check it out. I probably won't do a video. Maybe we'll do a quick like impromptu live on location or, or whatever, you know, whatever I'd like to say on location. When I say live on just on, it's not gonna probably be live. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so um, I think this is the second time they have brewed this one. Um, I remember somebody checking in this beer back in like 2022. Uh, so yeah, just smoothie style, dragon fruit, raspberry, mango. Four and a half months old, should be fine. Styles like this last. And it does say, um, shake gently before open. What do we do the want to do the, one of these? I mean, I keep them upside down in my fridge, but we'll do one of these. It's probably going to explode on me because these always explode. So we'll do this, and if it explodes, it explodes. Nothing you can do about it. Tap it down. I don't know if that really does anything. We'll see. Yep, yeah, of course. When you open these, shit just, just flies everywhere because that's how this goes. Anyway, give it a pour here. Oh, yeah. It's looking real thick, baby. I almost just started to dust the road, baby. Oh, baby, that looked real thick. Baby down. Friday night. And pour it all in. So yeah, that's looking wild, um, like they do. Uh, this is an interesting mixture too. When you say dragon fruit, I, I was looking over here like it's it's on it's on this side. Dragon fruit, a raspberry, and mango. That definitely looks like if you took uh, raspberry and uh, mango and kind of combined them, but then you throw uh, dragon fruit into the mix, and who knows? You know what I mean? Dragon fruit has that that white exterior with the black dots. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it looks thick, opaque, can't see through it. It honestly doesn't look great in the glass. Like, again, if you're combining raspberries, mangoes, and dragon fruit, this is the color you get. It just doesn't look great. It, it, it's kind of like a darker blood orange, but like, hold it up to the glass, really can't see it. Using my Medusa glass from Metallus. Anyway, let's get a nose. Smells awesome. Tart raspberries right off the top. Tart raspberries, overripened mango, and then dragon fruit. And dragon fruit's one of those fruits I've had a couple times, but I don't buy that often because A, it's fucking crazy expensive. At least here in Buffalo, um, you, at Wagmans, a lot of times you see it, and one dragon fruit's like $8. It's like, nah, I'm good. I like it, but not that much. But yeah, it's... This honestly looks like a V8, now that I'm thinking about it. This looks like a V8. I don't know if you guys can really tell or on camera, but that looks like a V8 to me. It's like V8 juice. Like carrot juice. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Does it smell good? Yeah. Does it smell overly complex? No. Tart raspberries, mango, hint of uh, dragon fruit, which is crazy because dragon fruit is the first uh, fruit listed. My mouth is watering, and I want to try this. So cheers, everybody. Thanks again to Sierra Hotel. So the first thing this has working for it is that it's actually tart. Like, it's actually quite tart. And that's the issue I have with a lot of smoothie style or pastry sours. They're just too sweet. You get through maybe um, a third of this can or half of this can, you're like, yeah, I should have shared that or I should have definitely not drank the entire thing. This, not having that issue, but I'll be honest with you. The flavor profile is not fantastic. It's just good. So body, it's thick, but it's not crazy thick. This is like 
lower side of full, medium full. It's not like a lot of smoothies where you're like chewing them or they're just over the top, but it has a nice viscosity that's appropriate, but it's 8%. So would I like to see more viscosity? Not really, because sometimes these are just a chore to drink because of the, um, the, the body itself, and this is not the case. So I really props to the body on this one. While it's thick enough to say, hey, this is a smoothie style of beer, it's not over the top. I appreciate that. The mouthfeel, however, has a decent carbonation. Yeah, decently carbonated, but it's smooth, it's softer, it's creamy uh, from the fruit puree. It's really nice. Honestly, I'm loving the body. I'm loving the mouthfeel. I love that it's 8% and I can't tell, but the flavors just aren't hitting. And maybe that is the age. Maybe maybe I need to rewind and say, hey, four and a half months old, doesn't matter. The, the, the flavors just aren't bursting. Like I'm definitely getting at the front of the palate, tart raspberries hit me right away. And it, it's kind of like omnipresent. It's everywhere, uh, never goes away. Never the predominant note, but it, tart raspberries at the forefront uh, is the first thing that hits me. Then after that, I get like this overripened sweeter mango. The dragon fruit comes in. And I think for me, again, I really like dragon fruit, but I'm not necessarily convinced that the dragon fruit raspberry mango mixture that I'm drinking right now is working as one cohesive unit. I can't believe how easy this is to drink though. Like it, I'm going to be able, I'm finishing this. Like this will be one of the few smoothie style sour beers in the last six months that I'm going to take to the dome piece by myself, probably in record time because it's so easy to drink. It's 8%. I can't tell, but the flavors aren't wowing me. So there's a lot of pluses to this one. And I never would have thought the flavors would be the thing kind of holding it back for me going nuts about this beer, but it, it kind of is. Yeah, so tart raspberry, overripe mango, and then I want to say a decent pop of dragon fruit, but not over the top. It finishes dry, like semi-dry. There's not a huge residual sweetness. Uh, there's no bitterness to speak of here, but there this has a, a, a firmly tart to lower sour uh, feel to it on the finish, and it's slightly acidic. Um, doesn't feel like I'm going to have heartburn, you know, here in a half an hour after I house the rest of this but it does have a little bit of an acidic nature to it. Personally, and, and again, that's all these reviews are as personal opinion, but I would have loved to see another fruit outside of dragon fruit mixed in with this raspberry. Like it, I think something to kind of mix better with the raspberry mango kind of thing you got going on here because I think the dragon fruit kind of sticks out like a sore thumb and I don't think it, I think it doesn't mesh as well with the raspberry mango because of what, I've had in the past, if, if you've ever had like a fruit smoothie or any kind of like flavored anything in life or even real fruits, like I don't picture dragon fruit being in the middle of a raspberry and mango, like in a fruit bowl or something. You know what I mean? So I think that might be a personal issue that I have because I just don't eat dragon fruit a lot. But I think if you replace that with something else, like give me like a, I don't know, throw in a watermelon. I don't know if that would work, but throw in a watermelon. Um, Pomegranate. So I don't know, something different than, than, than dragon fruit. And I think I would love this one. As is, I just really enjoy it. The body's fantastic. Hides the alcohol. I like the, the mouthfeel. It's not super sweet, which is awesome. It's just the flavor's a little bit lacking for what it is. So I'm going to say that uh, Hydra Squared from Pure Project and Mortalis, I have no issues whatsoever giving this beer. I, best I can do on this is probably a four out of five. I think that's where I kind of kind of sit right now. I think if this actually had a flavor profile more akin to what I'm looking for, easy in the 425 range, maybe in the low 45 range. I don't know. It depends on what that third fruit would be outside of the dragon fruit. So um, your mileage may vary. You might like this because you love dragon fruit and that's what you're getting. You think it works great. But again, it's all personal preference. And I just, I would have liked to see something other than dragon fruit. But again, I got to give them props for the body, the mouthfeel, and the fact they hide 8% because I can't taste 8% in this. And I'd assume it's 8% and they're not pulling a 450 North from many years ago where it's like, yeah, oh, guys, it's 10% and it's like 3.43% or whatever. Hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, price and availability. Uh, price point on this, I think, was $25.50 a four-pack. I looked it up back in July before my uh, channel went on a hiatus to see with the price point. So that's the going rate, around $25 a four-pack. You buy a Mortalis beer like this, it's going to be $25 a four-pack at Mortalis. So um, is it pricey? Sure. I mean, all depends. But, you know, fruit puree is... Pretty, spot, uh, pretty pricey, so it makes sense. Uh, availability, I'd imagine you could get this at Pure Project and it was a brewery-only release. I don't know if they got like little drips and drabs in a local bottle shop in San Diego, but you definitely can't get a beer like this 
here in Buffalo, New York, unless like Mortalis has it on tap randomly, you know, because they did a collaboration outside of that, you're probably not seeing it. So huge thanks to Sierra Hotel for hooking me up with this one. It was a lot of fun to review a, a smoothie uh, style sour beer um, from Pure Project. Like I, I don't know much about them. I, this is the second beer I had. The other one he sent me was their Cloud Mountain, which I reviewed with the FLX boys, Dan and Mike. And we enjoyed that one. It was eight and a half percent hazy double IPA. It was really, really nice. And this is, again, another nice beer. I just think for that, I think this is well, this is the easiest way to explain this one. I think this is well crafted. It's just, I think the fruit medley doesn't necessarily vibe what I would like out of this. And that's where I'll leave it. Um, if you've had this one before or anything from Pure Project or Mortalis, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about them. And yeah, if you're checking out uh, Mortalis at some point near the Buffalo, New York area, let me uh, let me know. Like I said, I'll, I'll try to let people know when I am hitting up Mortalis in case they want to stop by and say hi to me or whatever um, if you're here in the area. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to check out the new digs in Buffalo. Hopefully it's just as nice as their Avon, New York location, and we can get some fantastic beers here from them. So thanks again to Sierra Hotel. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.